make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. Text to speech with different accents in JavaScript. Hey friends, today in this video, you'll learn how to create a text to speech converter in JavaScript. Text to speech, TTS, is a technology that enables your text to be converted into speech sounds. In this project, text to speech converter app, you can convert your text into speech on different accents. A pause and resume option is also available if your text character length is more than 5. So now let's see how it works. This is our program, this section is for the text we want to convert into speech. So let's type something here for example I want to type hello. The next part is to select an accent for our voice. In this list we have different accent to choose from so for the test purpose we choose this one. After that we have convert to speech button and if we press this button it convert our hello. text to speech and we can hear that, so let's do it. Hello. Saw the program just speeches our text hello. Now let's choose another accent from the voice accent list, so for example I choose hello. This accent and after that I'm going to press the convert to speech button. Hello. You saw it speech our word on a different accent. Now let's type something a little bit longer. I'm going to type. Hi how are you my friends, please subscribe to the channel. Once we have typed the text we are going to choose an accent. After that let's press the convert to speech button and hear our text speech. Hi how are you my friends please subscribe to the channel. Hi how are you my friends please subscribe to the channel. As you can see we can choose different voice accents and it speeches our text to that accent. So this is very useful if you want to see how a word is sentence is speech in a different English accent. Hi how are you my friends please subscribe to the channel. One more thing I have to remind you guys and a character or text length is more than 5 a pause and resume option is also available. So when I press speech Hi, button for this text, you can see a pause button appears if I press the pause button I just pause the text and by pressing Hi, resume I my... can resume the speech once again. I have to remind you guys this program is completely responsive. If we do not type anything and press the speech button the program gives us an error message. Now you have learned how this program works, now let's see how I build it. Make sure to watch my other videos you will like them. This is our project folder inside it we have three files we will talk about each one in a moment. Our first file is index.html. Inside this file is our program structure. First of all we have the basic HTML5 structure. At the top of the code we imported our style.css and we also imported font awesome library. Inside the body tag we have the program structure. This block of code is for the modal. And at the bottom of the code we imported script.js. Our second file is style.css. Inside this file first of all we imported the Google font library. We applied some basic design to our page and body. After that we have applied design to every each elements. This is design for our modal. And after that at the bottom of the code we used at media max width and changed the wrapper and modal size to make our program responsive. And that's all for styling the program. After that we have script.js which is the most important file of our program. Inside this file first of all we selected our HTML elements by using query selector and put them inside JS variables. After that we create some important variables which we will use them later. First of all we run this function it means when our program is open this function will be run. So this is our voices function inside this function we use for loop. To get the the voices of different accents we use get voices of speech synthesis. 
and put them inside select element with its values and names. And because we used for we put all the voices inside our selected options. After that we have an event listener for our voices change, which will run this voices function. It means whenever we choose another voice accent it tells the program that we have changed the voice so it changed the synth voice. In this function text to speech which have a parameter of text inside. First we create a new speech synthesis is utterance and put the text variable inside and put it all inside utterance variable. Then we use for loop to get the voices. What this function does is it once you selected a voice from select option it applies that voice to the speech voice which later we use. It to speech our voice with that voice accent. This block of code is very important. We used an event listener for our speech button so whenever we click on the button we run this function. First of all we pass e parameter. And prevent the default behavior of our form. After that by using a function we use to check first if our text area is not empty we run this block of code. So first if our program is not on the speaking process we speech the value of text area by using text to speech, so this will be run when our word is smaller than 5 character. But if our word is more than 5 character we run this. First we make an interval. Inside the interval we first check if our program is not speaking or is speaking is not true it means our speech is finished so we run this section of code. First we change the is speaking to true. And we set our button to default. Else we do nothing and we run this interval half a second. After that we check if is speaking is true. We resume the speech and we change the is speaking value to false and we also change the button to pause. So what it does is this will pause our speech. After that by using else we pause the speech and change the is speaking to true and also change the button to resume, so this part of code does the resume action. And after that we use else for entire function if our text length is not more than 5 we does not change anything we set our button to default. And we use another else this section of code will be run if we don't type anything and press the button so it open the modal and ask you to enter a text. After that we have these two function which is used to close the modal. The first one will be run when the user click on X to close the modal. And second will be run when the user clicks anywhere outside of the modal and it closes the modal. So this was all my friends I hope you learned something in this tutorial, if you like this video make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. Have a great time.